The Super Bowl is coming up, and Upland has the Big Game Challenge, where you can win some great prizes, Spark, Upix, and these Turtle Block Explorers. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly how to participate, and how you can guarantee yourself to get this Gold Turtle Block Explorer. This video is sponsored by MJC Sports NFTs, located at 900 District Drive in Los Angeles, which is the neighboring property to the Los Angeles Stadium. With 53 game balls and specializing only with Legit's Mint number 1, whether they are mementos or essentials, MJC Sports NFTs has the most premium inventory. More about them later in the video. If you like this Golden Turtle Block Explorer, it can be yours, and I'm going to explain to you everything you have to do in order to get it. Some of the other things that you can win are this regular Football Turtle Block Explorer, there's Opix up for grabs, and also Spark. If you're brand new to the NFLPA Legits, make sure to take a look at the link in the upper right hand corner or in the description below, as the Upland Guide is the premium resource to teach you everything you need to know about these football Legits. The way the Big Game Challenge works is that you have several tasks that you have to complete every day for four days during the week. For each task, you are awarded a certain number of points, and there is a daily maximum of the number of times that you can complete each task. Each point you earn is an entry into a contest to win some of those prizes. And if every day you complete all of the tasks for a total of 600 points, you will be automatically awarded and given that golden turtle. If you're not a big collector of NFLPA Legits, but you're still looking to participate in this challenge in order to get that Turtle Block Explorer, I'm going to detail what I think is the best strategy in order to complete all of these tasks. You should be aware that if you don't have any NFLPA Legits at the moment, this task of completing 600 points will cost you most likely upwards of 15,000 Upix. Now this is a handy template that I have created for myself and the link to it is in the description below. Feel free to download this as well and use this throughout the week in order to keep track of all your entries. You can see here the list of tasks that you're going to have to complete and how many times you're going to have to do those each day. It's important to note that in order to register for the big game, I'm going to show you how to do that, but you only have to do that once. In my opinion, the best city to be in order to complete this challenge is Rutherford. Now, the reason that I suggest Rutherford is because you are going to have to complete two NFLPA collections each day. For now, in order to complete these collections, you obviously have to buy some NFLPA legits, and you're going to have to buy some from the stadium. Now, here at the Rutherford Stadium, it's unique because there are two different divisions that call this city home at the moment, and there are a total of eight different teams here. Now, if we go and take a look at the collections that exist for each of the teams for each of the three different seasons that exist, you can see here that the very first and easiest collection to complete is the Triple Threat Collection. And in order to complete this, you need to own three legits from different players that are obviously of the same team, in this case, Buffalo. We can see that the Chain Movers and Defenders collections, which are also standards, require you to own 11 different legits from that same team. If you move on to the limited, exclusive, rare, and ultra-rare collections, those require you to own mementos, and those mementos cost much more than essentials. So back here at my template, when it says complete a total of eight different collections, you're going to want to do that for eight different teams and completing the triple threat collection for each of those teams. It's going to be easiest to do that at Rutherford. A second reason to be in Rutherford is that standard treasure hunting in that city is extremely easy, even if you don't have any properties there. It's such a small city that even as a beginner, it's a great place to start learning how to treasure hunt. If you're brand new to treasure hunting, make sure to use the resources in the upper right hand corner and the description below to learn more about treasure hunting. Now while you're doing your standard treasure hunting, chances are you're going to use at least those five cents, so you will be able to complete those tasks as well. As for buying and selling NFLPA legits in a meta venture, you can see here on the Upland Guide maps a partial list of some of the meta ventures that exist in the metaverse. It's categorized here with this one being specific for NFLPA legits, but we have other maps as well, and all of these can be found in the link in the description below. You can see here some of the meta ventures that are in Rutherford as well as Manhattan, but there are NFLPA legit meta ventures in Bronx, Brooklyn, and Queens. So you have quite a variety in the greater New York area in order to try and complete these tasks. 
Now, if you do happen to be on the West Coast in Los Angeles, you can head over to the stadium there, and there are two Los Angeles teams that you can mint legits from. Also, make sure to check out MJC Sports NFTs, which is right next door. They specialize in premium legits with over 53 game balls and other mint number one legits. If you're a football fan, you can absolutely appreciate this memento right here. This is the Patrick Mahomes memento game ball from the 2022 championship game where the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Cincinnati Bengals. You can see here that this is a four flame memento. So make sure to check out his inventory as he does have a great collection of premium legits that are for sale. Now, in order to register for the big game, which is something that you only have to do once, you're going to head over to Upland and you're going to go to the Rutherford Stadium. You don't actually have to send yourself there. You can do this from anywhere within Upland. You're going to go down to choose Philadelphia. And here you will have an option to register either for Philadelphia or for Kansas City. By choosing to register for one of those teams, you are registering for the early sale in order to mint mementos from the big game. It costs nothing to register and you are not obliged to purchase any mementos once the sale begins. If you want to learn more about minting mementos and essentials, all of this information is detailed in the description below. So if there's something that you don't know how to do, there's links to the Upland Guide that will walk you step by step through all of these processes. Lastly, for each day, you're going to have to trade two different NFLPA legits with different players. If you're not on Upland's Discord, that's a great place to be. And also right underneath my head here in the bottom left-hand corner is the chat button. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you enable chat. And it's a great way to reach out to other players and connect with them and see who's willing to swap. Don't forget that when you're minting the NFLPA legits at the stadium, that you are going to want to mint a few extra if you don't already own some because you're going to have to sell and trade those ones as well. If you have any further questions about the challenge, make sure to drop them in the comments below and good luck to you in the contest and working towards getting this golden turtle.